Hi, I'm Seni Malvaganam. I'm a consultant oncoplastic breast surgeon. Uh, and today I'd like to talk to you about understanding and managing capsular contracture when they're related to breast implants. So breast augmentation is one of the most popular cosmetic surgical procedures, providing women with the opportunity to enhance their self-esteem and body image. While breast implants are generally safe, complications can arise, and one such complication is capsular contracture. Capsular contracture occurs when the scar tissue surrounding a breast implant tightens and squeezes the implant, leading to various degrees of discomfort and distortion of the breast shape. Today I'd like to talk to you about the causes, symptoms and management of capsular contracture with breast implants. So what are the causes of capsular contracture? Well, the exact cause of capsular contracture is not fully understood, but several factors have been identified as potential contributors. So number one, bacterial contamination. Bacterial presence around the implant can trigger an inflammatory response, leading to the formation of excessive scar tissue. Number two, implant rupture or leakage. Silicon leakage from a ruptured implant may stimulate the immune system, promoting the development of a thickened capsule. Number three, hematoma or seroma formation. Accumulation of blood or fluid around the implant may contribute to an increased risk of capsular contracture. Number four, textured implants. Some studies suggest that textured implants may have a higher incidence of capsular contraction compared to smooth implants. So what are the symptoms of capsular contracture? Well, capsular contracture can present with varying degrees of severity and symptoms. And these may include, number one, breast firmness, where the affected breast may feel unusually firm or hard to the touch. Number two, pain and discomfort, where patients may experience pain or discomfort ranging from mild to really quite severe. Number three, change in breast shape. Capsular contracture can cause the breast to appear distorted or misshapen. Number four, visible rippling or wrinkling. In some cases, the implant may be visible through the skin, leading to a rippling or wrinkling effect. So what are the management options? Well, the management of capsular contracture can be approached in several ways, depending on the severity of the condition. So number one, non-surgical options. Here we can use massage techniques where gentle massaging of the breast tissue may help prevent excessive scar tissue formation. Or prescription medications, which include anti-inflammatory drugs or steroids that may be prescribed to alleviate symptoms. Number two, surgical interventions. So this can include a capsulotomy, which involves making incisions in the thickened capsule to release the tension and soften the breast, or capsulectomy in more severe cases where the entire capsule may need to be surgically removed along with the implant, followed by the placement of a new implant if deemed uh, appropriate. Number three, implant replacement. So one can change the implant type and some patients may opt to switch from a textured to a smooth implant to reduce the risk of subsequent recurrence. Sometimes also polyurethane coated implants are used in this situation to reduce the subsequent risk of any further capsular contracture. Implant size adjustment. So modifying the size or shape of the implant during replacement surgery may help achieve a more natural appearance. And number four, adjunct theory, therapies. So number one, ultrasound therapy. Now some studies suggest that ultrasound treatment may help prevent the recurrence of capsular contracture. And number two, two here, irrigating with antibiotics. So in cases where bacterial contamination is suspected, irrigating the implant pocket with antibiotics may be considered. So in conclusion, capsular contracture with breast implants is a known complication that can affect the aesthetic outcome of breast augmentation surgery. 
It is crucial for patients and healthcare providers to be aware of the potential risks and to monitor for symptoms. Early detection and appropriate management, whether through non-surgical or surgical interventions, can help alleviate symptoms and restore a natural and comfortable breast appearance. As with any medical procedure, consultation with a qualified breast or plastic surgeon is essential to determine the most suitable course of action based on an individual's circumstances. Wishing you all the best.